you can see I'm controlling my Mac through my iPod Touch. And now I'm going to show you how to do the same. To be able to control the, your computer uh, from your iPod Touch, it's really easy to do. And uh, there's no jailbreak needed. Okay. The first thing you need to do is on your iPod Touch. Oh, you can do this on your iPhone as well. And uh, you're going to need to go to uh, the App Store. So uh, wait for that to load. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. So you need to be on 2.0 to get this. And um, then you need to get download something called VNC uh, Mocha VNC Lite. You can get the full version if you pay for it. Okay. Uh, to get that, just go to search and type in Mocha. And it should be the first one top. It should, it should be the first one already. So anyway, once you've downloaded that, uh, you're gonna need to get a VNC client. You can get a VNC client for Windows and Mac. I'll just show you how to get them now. Okay. Okay. First of all, you're gonna need to get a uh, VNC server program. And um, for Wind for Windows, you can get this program called Type VNC. Uh, it's free and I'll put a link in the description. Just download from there. Okay, and for Mac, you need something called Vine v and VNC. And you can get it from the first link and just click download. Okay, I'm on Mac, so I'm going to show you the Vine VNC. And, uh, okay, here it is. This is it right here. And at the top, it'll show your uh, what your network's called. And, um, here show the IP addresses and showing this if the server is running or not. Okay, once you got this running, you just keep this up, okay, and don't stop the server. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to connect from Mocha uh, VNC Lite. Okay, so once you've uh, installed Mocha VNC Lite on your iPod, uh, or the full version, or teleport, which is another app which says the same thing, which I've got. Um, and you've got the server running on your computer. Go on your iPod. Uh, find VNC Lite or whatever you got. And when it loads up, click connect. And um, it should come up with stuff like this, like saying serve IP address, server port, server password. And name, okay. So um, so uh, you have to fill it out, okay. Where it says server IP address, go onto your VNC client, okay. This is what you put in to your um, into your uh, uh, IP address box in your uh, VNC light or teleport or full version. It doesn't matter. That's what you put in. We don't try to put mine in because mine's got password, so yeah. yeah. Anyway, okay. So get your IP address and then type that in. So I'm going to do that right now. So, 192. Okay. So, um, once you've got that done, uh, if you have a password, also enter that. I suggest you put a password when you first set up uh, your server because if you accidentally give your IP address away, anyone can get on if you've got that on. Okay. Uh, once you've got that on, click connect. And it should, should start loading the screen. And um, there you go. I've got my Mac or my computer running right now. Just like that. Um, it's not as fast as Teleport or the full version of VNC, but it it'll do for like a free thing. It's pretty good. It's not bad. Um, the good thing about teleport is that you can use your mouse to trackpad 
for two is pretty cool and stuff, but if you don't want to spend any money, this is probably what the only thing you can get, actually, I guess, so but uh, for that, it's pretty good. So, yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching my video, and bye. Bicycle! 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 I want